reef technology, it is uh, building uh, artificial reef as close as possible to nature. Actually, what we build is not the reef, but we build the base for the normal coral to grow on it. Actually, we started with the uh, artificial reef uh, 96, but before 96 and 1990, uh, we started a marine section in Qatar Scientific Club with a group of uh, friends. And from there, we started looking into improving the marine environment in Qatar. We looked into putting cars underwater and we put, for example, tires, things like that. But then we discovered from research that cars will rust. And when it rusts, it will you know, produce heavy metals. And fish around this artificial reef will start consuming this uh, heavy metals. And then, of course, at the end, it will end up into our system. We started this project 96 as a research. We did 10 areas for testing. And then in 2002, we moved this project to Qatar University. And with Qatar University, we started going more into technical. And we've built also reef for Qatar Petroleum, for Qatar Gas and Ras Gas, Kafco, and several companies. Also, we built a reef, big reef, actually for the Ministry of Environment. And from those reefs, we studied the mixture, the design, how it attracts uh, coral, how it attracts fish, fish. Finally, until 2017, uh, we came up uh, with this design. This is uh, the best design to attract different marine fish. It took us 10 years to find that fault. It was that we put one reef in one area, the other reef in the other area. Coral grow on this one and, and it doesn't grow on that one. We discovered because it needs a current from a natural reef to bring the fertilized uh, larvae, the egg from the uh, coral. So we started uh, you know, developing a new system by uh, replanting uh, you know, pieces of coral onto the reef to overcome this uh, problem. Also the design at the beginning, we used to make the design to attract fish, but the problem that big fish scares the small ones. If the small ones cannot hide, that means they will leave the reef. So we found that after a few months, when the small fish leave, also the big fish will, will uh, go and search for them. So now we started building a reef that will protect the little fish, or the bait, we say, to attract the bigger fish. That's how the reef will thrive. Actually, uh, we have helped uh, uh, overseas. We have helped like uh, Kuwait, uh, friends in Bahrain. We have felt, uh, helped uh, friends in uh, UAE, but with the old design, because we helped them at the beginning of the project and in the 90s. But now, uh, since this became a business, it's uh, uh, mainly in Qatar. We moved this project from a university and from uh, you know science club, and uh, we made it into uh, a company to drop down the cost the, with this company, the cost came down to about 40%. So it's much cheaper, but then it's more effective and it is, uh, you know, to, to help uh, the marine environment. Of course, after obtaining the uh, permission from the Ministry of uh, Municipality and Environment, we placed them uh, for some uh, beach houses and also some projects for, uh, for the environment. Some people, they like to pay to develop the environment some companies like QP, like Qatar Gas, and also some individuals that they want to do something for the environment to improve the marine life. We work hard to develop and protect our, our marine environment because of the global warming, because of the human activities in the sea. We are losing about 90% of the coral reef around Qatar and uh, we have to do something about that. And this is one of the uh, solutions, one of the best solutions is to, uh, to introduce coral reefs far from any activities. For example, far from the uh, navigational channels, uh, far from the uh, uh, construction uh, businesses, and far from drilling companies. So we can build reefs 
in areas that there is no reefs at all and this will improve the marine life and also the fish stock in, in Qatar waters. Let us all save our environment. We love Qatar.